So let me tell you how to do the Fokker process to grow the esophagus so that we can get the ends together. In order to provide a linear force, we have to provide some sort of a mechanical connection. And so in the simplest terms, all we do is apply a couple of sutures on the end of this esophagus and pull this way. It's not something inside the lumen. It's not inside the esophagus. These sutures are on the outside. And we do the same thing down here. We pull this way. A couple of sutures, usually four total, and they pull that way. And over time, this, these ends get closer and closer together. And we follow them because we mark them with a little bit of a metal clip on the end. And so that we can see on the x-rays when the two ends of the esophagus are past each other because we can see the little clips on x-rays. The little clips are here. And when they've crossed each other, usually by about a centimeter, we'll get a contrast study so we can make sure that the lining of the esophagus is moving at the same rate. And then we take them back to the OR and we sew the ends together. Then we bring them here, we open up this end, we bring this one here, we open up this end, and then we just sew them together. It sounds really simple. Technically, this is some of the most challenging work that a surgeon can do, but the net result is that we end up with an esophagus, which here, for example, can be a total volume of a few cubic millimeters, and up here can be 50 or 70 times more tissue and more esophagus that once uh, sewn together is a normal esophagus at least structurally. Let me give you the bottom line. The esophagus is not a tube. It's an organ. It's growing and developing. The Fokker process harnesses the development potential of the esophagus in a baby and grows that little remnant up into be a normal size esophagus so that we can then repair the esophageal atresia and end up with a structurally normal esophagus almost every time. And that's the goal of this program. We are absolutely dedicated to getting a normal esophagus for every child who has esophageal atresia.